to be going over the problem solution uh, for problem number one on exam one uh, for EML 3100 for the spring 2016 semester. Uh, in this problem, we're given that we have a pot uh, filled with liquid water. And uh, on top of this pot, we have a, a, a lid that's been placed on top of an unknown weight. Uh, the ambient pressure uh, surrounding the entire system here uh, is 101 kilopascals. And uh, ultimately, we're asked if we would like the water to boil at 105 degrees centigrade, uh, what does that uh, lid weight uh, need to be? Uh, so let's backtrack for a second and understand a few of the terms uh, in the problem. Boiling, we need to understand what boiling is before we proceed any further. And I've drawn here a PT plot and a TV plot as well uh, to kind of uh, illustrate what boiling is on, on these thermodynamic diagrams. Uh, here, I've drawn schematically a horizontal red arrow on the PT plot uh, to show that really what we're doing is transitioning from a subcooled liquid uh, all the way to a superheated vapor, and we're crossing the saturation line as we do that. Uh, but the constraint, again, is uh, constant pressure, so constant pressure energy addition to the system. And here, again, moving from left uh, to right, uh, more specifically, the beginning state of the boiling process is a saturated liquid, and then we move through the uh, two-phase region as we add energy or add heat. Uh, the volume is increasing, um, but uh, the pressure actually along this isobar and uh, this isotherm here are constant during this phase change. And uh, we finally end up at the saturated vapor state. Um, so again, to recap, boiling is a constant pressure heat addition process with the uh, initial state being a saturated liquid and the end state being a saturated vapor. Now in this problem, uh, we're given that the ambient pressure is 101 uh, kPa. Now let's just imagine that we uh, take off the top or the lid from this problem and if we were to analyze uh, the problem from this uh, perspective. Um, so we wouldn't even have to be concerned with the weight of the lid. This uh, pot is open uh, to atmospheric pressure and it's this pressure uh, that is uh, being imposed as a boundary condition on the liquid in the pot. Now if we were asked um, at what temperature did that boil, uh, we would simply need to go to the saturation uh, tables. And first, before we go to the PT plot, I'd like to illustrate that on a TV diagram. So if we say this temperature is unknown for right now, but we're traveling along an isobar and we would like to illustrate a boiling process, we may be at some temperature that's less than the saturation temperature that would be corresponding to this horizontal portion of the curve. And as we add energy uh, to this liquid water at atmospheric pressure, a constant pressure, it's going to heat up and heat up and move along this curve till we get to the saturated liquid state. Uh, at that point, uh, as the pressure is still constant, um, we begin to see a phase change here. So we get bubble formation and uh, a transition from the saturated uh, liquid state to the saturated vapor state, all at uh, ambient or uh, atmospheric pressure here. Uh, but in this particular problem, what they're saying is that we're no longer at just this pressure, but the lid is imposing uh, additional pressure uh, to the liquid water in this system. Okay, so if we look at our saturation curve here on the PT diagram, uh, if we were operating at a higher pressure, and I'll put a question mark there because we don't know what that pressure is yet, um, that pressure would correspond to a higher saturation temperature. Okay, and again at the TV diagram, if um, we're operating at 105 degrees centigrade for our saturation temperature, there's going to be a pressure corresponding to that, uh, that if I were to travel along that pressure curve, I would begin to boil at 105 degrees centigrade rather than the approximately 100 degrees centigrade that's associated with atmospheric pressure. Uh, so before we can really begin to uh, determine uh, what the required weight of the lid is uh, to uh, to reach uh, a given pressure, we need to figure out what that given pressure is that's associated with 105 degrees centigrade. Um, just as a small side note, I've drawn a, a thermodynamic translation uh, of the problem uh, down below. So in this particular diagram here, it, it's not drawn particularly well uh, from a thermodynamic system standpoint. Um, typically when you think of a pot uh, and lid on top, it's not perfectly sealed. There could be some vapor escaping. Uh, so it wouldn't be a perfectly closed system. And more than anything, it would seem like uh, it would be a constant volume constraint. Uh, but because boiling was uh, talked about in the problem statement, and uh, ultimately we'd like to analyze a boiling process, 
uh, we need to understand that uh, what they're asking for is for the process to be uh, constrained uh, from a constant pressure uh, standpoint. And so I've drawn, redrawn this pot lid configuration. There's nothing more than a piston uh, inside of a cylinder with the liquid water inside. And uh, I've drawn a control volume with the control surface um, surrounding the liquid and also uh, cutting through the piston here. So this top portion of the control surface would move, say if the liquid uh, were cooled, it would move down a little bit. If it were heated, it would move up. And especially if uh, we start transitioning into uh, the two-phase region, uh, expand even more. So we've got a movable or flexible control surface um, and control volume within a piston cylinder assembly and we're constraining the process to be constant pressure. And ultimately what we need to find out is the saturation pressure corresponding to 105 degrees centigrade. Okay, so the next step would be to go to the saturation tables for water and find the saturation pressure corresponding to a temperature of 105 degrees centigrade. And uh, you can pretty readily find out what that pressure is uh, through interpolation, uh, which is not reviewed in this video. Uh, that pressure is 122.35 kilopascals, which uh, is expected to be higher than the 101 kPa associated with the 100 degrees centigrade saturation temperature. Um, with this in mind, we'll put that aside for now and uh, proceed to do a force balance on the lid of the pot, okay? And we're going to assume a mechanical equilibrium um, for the lid itself. Now, this is a small diagram of all of the uh, forces that are acting on the lid. Up top, we have a distributed load, which is really just nothing more than ambient pressure. And on the bottom, we have another distributed load, uh, which is uh, due to the vapor pressure or the saturation pressure of the water inside. And the remaining force is uh, due to the gravity, because we're in a gravitational field, I have G acting down, and here's by uh, axes, so Y is up and down. Uh, the weight of the lid is acting down um, as W lid. So if I just apply this uh, mechanical equilibrium constraint, the sum of the forces in the Y direction uh, are equal to zero, um, I have two forces acting downward, so I've got the uh, ambient pressure distributed load acting on the wetted area, which is a, a circle, uh, because we were dealing with a uh, cylindrical pot of a diameter of uh, 15 centimeters, and um, the area is nothing more than pi d squared over 4, uh, but so this is one force acting down. We have uh, P ambient uh, times that wetted area, um, plus uh, the weight of the lid. And then the, the vapor pressure, or the saturation pressure, acting on that same wetted area in the upward direction must balance these two forces. Uh, from this equation, uh, we can manipulate it and solve uh, for the weight of the lid uh, required for mechanical equilibrium. And uh, again, just to backtrack for a second, this would correspond to this point right here. Either point, when we've got uh, this given temperature, okay, during the boiling process, and the vapor pressure equal to 122.35 kPa. So this mechanical equilibrium constraint uh, applies to any point along this line during the boiling process, okay? Uh, so since, uh, since we've manipulated the uh, expression, we get uh, the wetted area of the uh, lid times the difference between the saturation or vapor pressure in the water and the ambient pressure on the uh, top side of the lid. And if we simply plug in the values uh, given in the problem statement, uh, the diameter of the pot or the lid at uh, uh, 15 centimeters or 0.15 meters, and the ambient pressure of 101 kPa, and to do the algebra, we get the required weight of the lid is 377 newtons in order to force uh, the water to boil at 105 degrees centigrade. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Resource Center.